It's approaching the seven month mark since Cyberpunk 2077 was released on Xbox, PC and PlayStation. But as people have been looking towards the future and to see if Cyberpunk is within that future, I've been looking back to see what changes CD Projekt Red made, both positively and negatively. So here are three things removed from Cyberpunk 2077 from the base game on the day one patch. My name's Mike, you're watching Deconstructing the Game. Let's get to it. So some of you may already know that street vendors are pretty hard to come by within Cyberpunk 2077 and if you want to buy anything you pretty much have to go to a stipulated location within the map. So for example a cybernetic dealer or a junk dealer or even a vendor who sells food and drink you have to actually go to a specific point on the map where it shows that vendor. However in the base version of Cyberpunk 2077 things worked a little differently and as you can see from the clips here this is version 1.23 and switching to version 1 of the game or what I like to call version 0 because I'm pretty sure this is a beta version on the disc of Cyberpunk and then the patch boosted that to an actual tangible game. So as you can see the vendors in the base game actually have interactive menus. Now some of them are completely empty but it does beg the question, did CD Projekt Red cut vendors to try and make the game play better on consoles? Maybe there was too many inventories to keep track of within the game, so they decided they wanted to cut these vendors. And again, this is in V's apartment. This is the 1.23 version on the Series X. All the vendors in uh, V's apartment block, they don't really have any menus they are not interactive at all and uh, they really don't want to know you they just come out with the same one-liners but if you go back to the base version of the game you will easily see that just approaching these vendors brings up the ability to buy and sell and in fact most of the people in V's apartment building actually have things to buy and sell so the inventories are populated so this would have been a cool uh, thing for CD Projekt Red to keep in, especially when um, you consider the amount of people like in back alleys and stuff that could potentially sell you some black market stuff. So I don't know if they ever thought about uh, implementing that kind of gameplay into Cyberpunk, but um, they've definitely missed a trick, uh, possibly bringing it back. The second thing I want to talk about is the map. Now we've already talked about the map um, in one of my other videos, but I wanted to mention the verticality issue. Um, they've cut a good portion of verticality within the map as well. So in the 1.23 version that you're looking at right now, if you were to plot a location on the map, you would just have a two dimensional um, GPS route plotted and every time you flick on to the three dimensional map, all of your icons disappear. But in the base version of the game, you only really had one map to choose from. The icons stayed there. But the one thing I didn't realize was that if you plot a location on the map, it actually puts a line up in the air if you're plotting that within a building or on top of a building. So it's not perfect, but it is showing it is that it's calculating the route up on top of the building. So maybe CD Projekt Red were trying to implement some kind of three-dimensional GPS system for when you're inside buildings as well, because your markers are elevated on the map. They're off the ground. Third and final thing I want to talk about is the inventory preview. So in the base game of Cyberpunk, you can actually preview your items, but in the 1.23 version that you see here, there is no ability and no button to bring up an item to look at it. So like if we had, say, uh, in The Witcher 3, you could look at your swords and stuff, but uh, in the base game of Cyberpunk, you actually could do this. You could bring up a menu and rotate your weapons and have a good look at them and things like that. Now, it's not perfect, you can see here it, it brings up a very small image, it's not perfect, it tries to show V in a preview state and it's just a very tiny box. So they hadn't perfected this aspect yet, so I can't really blame them for, for cutting this when they did. So potentially it'll, it'll come back in the future, maybe it will give us uh, some better clues as to what some items are for, like the mystery chip and stuff, we can have a look at it and inspect it for clues. So. 
Those are three things that have been cut from the base game of Cyberpunk 2077. Will they return? Who knows? Uh, I'm hoping the vendors return and we can get some more interactivity with the kind of black market deals and things like that. And uh, the inspect will definitely be useful to use in the inventory for looking at items as well. I'm not really fussed about the map, um, you know, the verticality thing, but it does kind of highlight that they were looking at exploring and um, kind of bring in more verticality than what is actually currently in the game. If you've enjoyed the video here guys, you can check more on YouTube and you can always click on the links below to get more involved with the Deconstructing the Game channel, crew members on Discord and see live videos as well. My name's Mike, you've been watching Deconstructing the Game and I'll catch you later.